Today we're indulging in what the internet was inevitably designed for. Reviewing May May. You thought it was designed for porn. No, slightly less gross than that. This is really sad that this is all our generation cares about. This is just like how old people would religiously watch Deal or No Deal. That is our version of that. Just, uh, I wonder what meme's coming up next. Uh, good meme, that's a good one. Yep, lol. And because it's election season, the memes are from four major party sites. ALP, Spicy, Bean Stash, The Young Greens, the young liberals, and bringing it up the rear, Clive Palmer's page. Because if you didn't include that, everyone would just go, Where's the Palmer? But, but, Tim Tams, it's still good. So the first one from ALP Spicy Beeb Stash, let's have a look. Marvel Studios Ozpol Endgame. Are these photoshopped heads? I don't recall Bill Shorten being Captain America. Maybe that wasn't paying that close of attention. They shouldn't have done that. Now the Liberals are going to use this in one of their ads going, Look at how un-Australian he is. Is he working for you or the Yanks? Vote one the biggest American arch kisses in Australian history. Her. He's probably thinking about other girls. I love how every girl voice I have is just people on maths. And let's not beat around the bush. That is every girl in Australia. If you can find a single girl that doesn't speak like that, show me video footage. Look, this is even Ida Buttrose talking. I used to be the editor of Women's Weekly and everyone hated her because girls were mean bitches. He's probably thinking about other girls. Him. I wonder what really happened at Inga Dean Macca's in 97. Hey, just as an update, someone contacted me via Facebook and said, I worked at Inga Dean Macca's. It happened. Come on, look at Scott Morrison. As if it didn't, he probably shat his pants in this photo. That man has weak bowels. Nah, no curry for me, thanks. We all know what happened last time. I don't think that man's ever done a shit. He probably just sharts. Can you imagine how sad it'll be giggling about the word shard at 50? <laughs> oh, Jesus. This one is fucked. What have happened to the innocent memes of people getting photographed while stoned and then putting captions over the top? Now all memes are just Tinky Winky getting sucked off by a vacuum cleaner. It's just so disturbing. I mean, it's true, but that image is scarier than the facts it's conveying. Person under 25 doesn't roll to vote. Liberals win election. Person under 25. <laughs> It's funny because it's true. This shocked Pikachu meme has had real mileage and I for one am perfectly fine with that. It's the Toyota of memes. It's Japanese and it never fails. Okay, now we're on to Clive Palmer's. Learn the difference, Clive Palmer, the green. Yes, it could save your life. Oh, take that. Greens are lip -tards. Come on, this is an objectively shit meme that tradies in Toowoomba would find funny and that's it. It's sort of funny, but really, Clive Palmer's memes have gone downhill ever since they fired that 19-year-old who was obviously doing it. And then, I'm pretty sure what happened is they went, no, 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 we're going to try and be a respectable party. And then Clive went, but I can't be respectable. And so then they hired somebody else. It's just so bland to import the idea of NPC cucks and then turn that into the stereotype of the Greens. Just turn it back to the 80s, make it dudes with dreads that tie themselves to trees, and the only thing that's gonna make them unchain themselves is a puss, that's it. Beef stock, chicken stock, laughing stock, the Greens. <laughs> I mean, these memes are funny, but they're not ha ha funny. And I honestly think it's because they have hired someone else to do their memes and they're no longer young. It's probably just Hans Mole Man with a hat backwards going, Laughing stuck. <laughs> That's great. That'll never get old. <laughs> the meme of the night of the election, and then it just goes, And in a surprising turnaround, Jeb Bush has won every college electorate in America. And him going, <laughs> Uh, he's won me back. If you work hard and go the extra mile to provide a better life for your family, I'll take that extra income and give it to people who refuse to do the same for theirs. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is a meme that belongs on Stand Up for Australia, Canberra. This doesn't make Clive dank. It makes him dank in the way that your grandpa's armpits are dank. And furthermore, not true at all. You know how the Liberals are running this scare campaign of the Labor Party's going to put a bunch of taxes on you and your family? No, what that ad should actually say is, the Labor Party is closing a bunch of tax loopholes that you and your family exploit. It's the exact opposite of what this meme is talking about. What Bill Shorten is doing is actually, I'm going to take that extra income that you're stealing out of the budget and use it to give to people who actually work hard for a living. All right, now we're onto the Young Greens page and it appears that they have photoshopped in words that Scott Morrison never said on his Twitter account. You see, this is what I'm talking about. Dishonest tactics from the Greens. Fake news! Scott Morrison, is Korean the same thing as Chinese? Scott Morrison, two seconds later. Shit, this isn't the Google. <laughs> Holy shit. 
genius. Matt and I specifically made a point of not rating these memes, but this gets an Asian dad, two Asian dads, to cover our bases just in case he's either Korean or Chinese. Coal. Ah! Coalition. Ah! <laughs> Young Greens are killing it. I've always said this. Stoner feral hippies are the funniest people on earth. Whoever came up with that should replace Richard D. Natale as leader of the Greens. What gives people feelings of power? Money, status, voting the Liberals out. Nah, sorry, you've ruined it. You were on a good streak, Greens, but now I'm voting One Nation. God, how good is it having the ego to review other people's jokes? Me just sitting here going, Yep, that's good, that's bad. Nothing I've ever done is shit. Now, who wants to watch Top 10 Cutest Dogs? <laughs> you know how quick Quentin Tarantino says that Death Proof is his worst film. Top 10 Cutest Dogs is our worst video. That's why, just to keep the meme going, go over and click like because it really fucking needs the help. Nurse, sir, you've been in a coma since 2013. Me. Oh boy, I can't wait to see the action the government has taken on climate change. All right, you've won me back, Greens. You've finished strong. One Nation will just be getting my preferences. The Liberals. Billionaires. Yay! Literally everyone else. Nah, lame. And also, how disturbing is that kid's head? He looks like the blobfish. Ah, yes, and now we're on to the young Liberals, the real-life Benjamin Buttons. Every single young Liberal looks like Mr. Burns. All right, let's start with number one. We've got Salt Bay with Bill Shorten's head photoshopped over the top. And the salt says tax. Ah, really shit meme to begin with that's extremely old. Young liberals, down with the youth. The number one criticism I get from young liberals when I post a video is always them showing a gif of a truck dumping salt. How is that an argument? Yes, he's totally triggered by the fact that our OECD ranking in economic management has gone from first to 34th. Triggered problem cuck. So salty. What are you, a packet of myths? Yeah, okay, I am salty about your shit economic management. Owned. Jesus, how the fuck me dead. This meme alone is a reason enough that they should lose the election. It is impossible for Scott Morrison to smile, isn't it? Because his mum was clearly a bulldog. He, he's got that same permanent downturned face. And so when he's trying to smile, it's like, take the photo, take the photo, I can't hold this game on. And of course the truck driver's wearing a cowboy hat when they're in fucking Cronulla. And of course wearing a shirt from Tarakash. Can the Liberal Party just accept that they're middle class? Stop pretending you're richer than what you are. We know how much shirts from Tarakash cost. It's 49 bucks. You can handle that. Tax bill is coming. Yes, Game of Thrones reference. Kids love that. I'm trying here. I'm really trying. I'm trying to look at this from a humorous perspective. Perspective. Give me one meme that isn't shit. Big Tax Studios. Oh, instead of Marvel. Yes, very clever. Bill Shorten. End game. Income, housing, cars, electricity, retirees, investments. Do young people give a shit about any of those things? Who is your target demographic here? People whose grandmas go, oh, I like memes. Let's just go through these talking points. Electric cars, ooh, you'll be shocked by the price. According to one study, Labor's new emission standards on cars is going to save the average Australian $500 a year in petrol. And you know who conducted that study? Josh Frydenberg, the current treasurer. He was touting it as a great idea about six months ago, and then he saw he could get some political advantage over that, and then he just went, no, fuck the planet and poor people at the same time. And especially poor people. They can only afford tarot cash during the Boxing Day sales. Now he's using his modelling, which is almost universally accepted as flawed, saying that, ooh, these cars are going to cost the average Australian 5,000 more. Why is that? Because they're going to have to recalibrate cars. True, if they hadn't already recalibrated those cars and are selling them in other markets for exactly the same price. So it's not going to cost 5000 more and it's going to be $500 a year cheaper. You bald piece of shit. And on that note, how great it memes. It just brings us together. Make sure you press the like button, notification. Jesus, YouTube just makes you stretch out the last 30 seconds with Press like, hit the notification button, leave a comment, see my live show on camera, tickets on sale now. Make sure you share on Facebook. See ya. Please share and comment below. Come in.